1990s at the Carnegie Mellon University to capture 3D geometry and appearance of dynamic events. I hope let's start the session. So please. Now, thanks for the introduction. And the uh, topic we are trying to, uh, trying to address here is, with all these exponential technologies coming forward, we are looking for a lot of things getting automated and where the human uh, manpower and uh, uh, muscle power and also the mental power, thinking power is being replaced by machines, either a physical machine or a virtual machine. I think it is in this context that the humans need not apply. That particular video was very viral, much early in 2015s and uh, other things. And a lot more of such derivative videos have come up. Now I have two eminent people who can talk to you about uh, what this is all about and how things are getting shaped, uh, shaped into in future. Uh, first question, I'll put it across to uh, Narayan sir. So he heads the uh, IIIT Hyderabad and he has been the director for the last 10 years. So he's also the member of uh, the National Committee, uh, or rather he chairs the uh, Committee on Center of Excellence in uh, AI, uh, India AI. So I would request him to look at what are the visible directions which are already there in this scheme. And also, second one is, how does he foresee uh, there being a skill gap in addressing this in the conventional education? Thank you, uh, Shankar, and the organizers. So, Malayalathil uh, parajna 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 So, uh, Ika alathil po AI, Artificial Intelligence is the one that is making a lot of news for good reasons and for bad reasons sometimes. Uh, so, what is AI? AI is parajna, it's a tool that able to uh, automate we have to do this in the past. We have to do this in the past. We have to do this in the past. We have to Nurwala Mumbai car galum auto automobiles mande po manushe re pulli idhar thalengil kudra mande galu boi kudra galu ke joli le aada yendu varnyal it was you know maybe some people are affected amna but say adu adu charitra parama yore anivari idhar yana adu chiyadri kya petti la but say adu palar andu vasangal under adu ne ingene yoru pudiya technology thalengil pudiya yoru yoru movement varumbo adu ne ingene ubeyo prada maite palar prada maite thamukka thamura society lo ubeyi kya adapti ya mendo lada thora prada na petra gariya panada thamura chayda lengel some people will be very badly affected. Apo AI inna yalla yorum parayda ana kai yoru oru kolle ayolo chat GPT amma saaram November kandaiyathi irubatte randele ana chat GPT portu vandu oru naar aaru maasthanu lla chat GPT amma kaya katha alkaru pagidi peru poru daavi lla logat. So adu vale lla Valuable technology galu vanna, naamura jeevite, valar saaramai baathi ke menda pedi vanna swabhavi ko mana. Parshe aadu varum bol naamal aadu, akitan technology galke naamura jeevite le endi jian patum, naamu ke endis phala prada mai to vaya prada mai to mangena vyoy kya? Yenda na avoidi yenda. Aadu pira central government valar korchi galu mai to AI, oru AI mission India AI, engena phala. This technology is always much faster than how governments can move. That is un un unfortunately the fact. Technologically and academically, in America and Europe, in the AI developments are in the company. Because they are far more agile, they are far more resourceful. Uh, government has a scheme on the and the partners are going to be together. But that's required because government scheme will be applicable, will be available to wide wide range of people, all education institutions, all companies. So the society benefits. The Indian government will be able to do this. But the technology innovation hub in the world special academic institution theme based technology innovation hub 
അത് ട്രിപ്പിൾ ഐ ടി ഹൈദരാബാദിലുള്ളത് ഡേറ്റാ 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 ഡ്രിവൻ ടെക്നോളജി അതുപോലെ എ ഐ ഹെൽത്ത് കെയർ അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ അണ്ടർ വാട്ടർ റോബോട്ടിക്സ് പിന്നെ മൈനിങ് അങ്ങനെ എല്ലാ വിഷയം പല വിഷയങ്ങളും ഇരുപത്തഞ്ചെണ്ണം ഉണ്ട് സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് ക്വൈറ്റ് വൈഡ് അത് എ ഐ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ റിലേറ്റഡ് ടെക്നോളജി അതിൻ്റെ തിയറിയെ എടുത്ത് ടെക്നോളജി ആക്കി സൊസൈറ്റിയിലേക്ക് എങ്ങനെ ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അതിൻ്റെ അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ് എയിം ഓക്കെ സോറി സോ 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 ദർ ദ ഹബ്സ് ആർ മെൻ ടു ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റ് ദ അക്കാഡമിക് ആൻഡ് അതർ റിസർച്ച് അവൈലബിൾ ഇൻ ദ അക്കാഡമിയ ഇൻ ടു പ്രോഡക്ട്സ് ഓർ സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് ദാറ്റ് സൊസൈറ്റി ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ഓർ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അപ്സ് ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദ പർപ്പസ് after that in the last one year they have you know the last uh, budget there was an announcement about three coes center for excellence being set up and the process is on now in three yeah. academic institutions these are focused on healthcare agriculture and sustainable cities ipo climate change has become a big uh, uh, obviously hot topic and uh, deservedly so so these are the three themes they are inviting uh, applications for people to set up center for excellence where work related to each of the steam will be concentrated so this is the effort that is happening but again no effort is enough in when move, things move so fast all of us have to get familiar with i mean people who work on maybe the high end technology people the graduates of engineers next level general gra- graduates like uh, you know do come from engineering colleges triple it iit etc and then people who come out of uh, maybe polytechnics or other skilling center that is one level next these technologies are also affecting how you can write text you can write much better text using chat gpt than most people most of us can write ourselves even though it is some kind of machine text it can be a good starting point for many people now it's also getting into creative they are writing literature which is i personally am very skeptical about literature generated by machines but you can fool a lot of people and it may be maybe you can write 100 books in sitting by just typing the keyboard I mean kicking something on the keyboard so, but all these require new skills new way of thinking so that has to probably spread to everybody or otherwise some people will be affected badly more than others and some people benefit more so that that's not something that we want to happen in the society so all of us should require so develop some understanding of uh, what what is the potential in your own field and what is the potential and what are the dangers and work accordingly and i think this requires lot of collective work i don't think it can be done it cannot be taught in a college it cannot be learned from the internet by itself because this is moving so fast and you need multiple uh, people to give you ideas so i think there's more uh, scope for people to work to think as a society and doing something about it i think i'll stop here for now good point for me to take on to deepu uh, uh, so i think i'll come back to you for a couple of questions but then uh, deepu like we spoke about the skill gap we spoke about a collaborative uh, effort and we spoke about multiple disciplines coming together i think mean, that's exactly the point which i'll raise to you because i know that you are working on that field and just to give a background to it 20 years back when companies came to us saying that we don't have people with skills we started doing finishing schools we started teaching them java then we ta- various technologies even today companies come back to government and skilling institutions saying that we don't have the requisite skills there's a qu- quite a bit of difference between your degree and your skill so this is exactly what uh, uh, the group of technology companies and uh, a non for profit company that deebu heads they are working on so i'll leave it to deebu to just probably answer those questions so hi all so first of all i just want to uh, uh, tell you the prominence of the topic today that we are discussing what is the topic humans need not apply right so what does it mean so you are going to see a massive disruption in the workplace like many of the jobs that exist today is not going to exist in the coming year or in 2023 20, 2024 itself it is going to be the one of the most disruptive year in the history okay things are progressing so rapidly and what the students are preparing for as of now i i can see that lot of students here what are you preparing for 
many of the jobs that you had seen as job is not going to be there for humans. Humans need not apply because a boats or technology will take care of things and what should our students be prepared for, right? So that is the topic. And second one, as you have seen, like disruption happen often. Like we have seen uh, different industrial revolutions. So it takes decade, initially centuries to have one revolution, then it takes two uh, decades. Right now, in a single year, you had seen one of the most disruptive year that we had was COVID, right, 2019. We had progressed in a way like never before. You can see like a financial transaction, if you see like UPA has become a standard everywhere. Nobody carries credit card or money today. And then that massive change happened in a very short time span. Banking system, industry, like almost 90% people took into uh, like have bank accounts today or other 99 percentage people are having today all those transitions happen in a very short time span which normally should have taken 15 to 20 years to achieve so the progress is very fast and things are changing more faster so how do we adapt to the change and this disruption is it something bad or an opportunity for you so it is an opportunity for those who are able to be aware of the change and be prepared so that you could ride the waves of change. It is not just about surviving. Because previously, long before, anything that happens in the US, it will take long years or decades for us to start touching it, or even seeing it, or even knowing it. But things have changed. If there is Google Gemini, is there, or ChatGPT there, that is we are getting access to all those things at the same time. Last week there was something Stanford University released called Aloha. Aloha is a robot that is an open source hardware thing that can do cooking and anything that we have actually seen in fictional movies. That much capability with low cost that anybody can start developing over it, right? And right now we have the opportunity to start building on that. So, over the years, India also progressed in a way that we have a security in which, like, even if a student, after their education, if they decide they do not want to take a job, they won't, there won't be poverty. Right? They don't, they don't starve. So, they can experiment on things. But, where do they get access to all those things? We see a lot of courses. 5 lakh, 2 lakh, 1 lakh to learn cybersecurity, to learn A, to learn blockchain or robotics. So am I good at it? Not sure. And then by the time the universities adapt that change, bring it to the syllabus and make it available to you to write examination for that, things will be changed and new things will come, right? And then you will not be able to catch any bus. Always we talk about missed buses. So what we did is at group of technology companies, it is the consortium of all the IT companies in this Kerala. So I volunteer there as an academy and technology focus group. So I just want to help the students out in accomplishing learning and connecting to the network of people in the industry to know what is happening around the world. So we started with a small protocol where people from the industry come forward and decide what should be the learning path. That is called think tanks. And then the students have to do one challenge by themselves. It is not about certificates. They have to, if they learn web development, they have to build a website for a tea shop and publish it in a public vetable manner. So that value is being created as part of the learning. And then they form small learning circles in the campus. In, from individualistic learning, they should be moving towards a collective learning that we can learn together. And there are office hours where they can come and connect with the people in the industry. Everything is free. As of today, there is around 30,000 students in the platform. And these students are learning, teaching each other, and building. Building things and a lot of products are getting built. And companies are seeking after this just because there is an accountability system called Karma Points 
whenever they create value for others by going and teaching others or creating a website for a shop, they gain karma points, which act as their accountability system, which can be redeemed or this, which act as the uh, measure of their aspiration towards learning and their perseverance in learning. So what we have done is we created, it is like a gym. It is not a spa. We do not want to have training programs, do certificate and everything. We provide them free resources. We provide them mentors. And what they have to do is that they want to take and work out. In a gym, you know, like all the equipments are there. It is not the trainer who does all the things, right? It is the people have to do and do the workout with the resources provided. So people have to be self-determinant in the way to learn things. Their aspiration towards learning and their perseverance towards learning is something accountable in the current system in a peer-weighted manner. So that is what Mulan does. And, 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 and it is backed by all the communities. Normally what happens is like everyone work in silos. I create one community and then I run the community and we can only do aspiration level things. For example, if you want to do an aspiration level uh, thing for poverty, what we can do is like we can, we can uh, do some small collective and uh, give food to some people. But Mulan is something set for a population level implementation. That is, we set the protocol and anybody can come there and run it in their campus or in their institute or, in, uh, or uh, anywhere around. So that all the communities, IEEE or Google Developer Student Community, Government, ASAP, KDISC, KKEM or KOCM, everyone work together in a single platform and come together and work together towards a common goal in accomplishing or on, on uh, uh, addressing the skill gap problem. So that is what Mulan does. So from individualistic behavior towards a collectivistic be behavior, that is what we are converting. I'll come back to you on that. Yeah. Uh, a quick question to uh, Narayan sir. Like, I, I remember when we studied, there was no internet. So a lot of those SEOs uh, and a lot of those internet-based jobs are new jobs. So definitely there will be a lot of jobs which will go away. There will be a lot of jobs which will come up. So how do you, what do they learn? I think if I'm a student, what do they learn? And uh, how do I approach the whole uh, changes that are happening around us? Okay, so it's a, there are no single answer to that, but I think in, in the, at least in the AI-dominated uh, world that is predicted, there is a lot about uh, data, which is, uh, which is something that people don't understand. Uh, nobody understands what is data, etc. But when you are doing whatever you are doing daily life, you are generating a lot of data, which through your, I mean, at least electronics data through your mobile phone or your laptop or whatever, your, the con conversations you make, etc. So this data is going, you know, somewhere into somebody's servers and 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 companies are making are discovering new ways to to make to monetize i mean companies are interested only in monetizing they are not here for the public good they are here for their own good so data analysis now this is a very broad term but data analysis is something that uh, that at least students of uh, it or students of engineering should definitely be familiar with it. Now, what that means is data has, you know, there may be data maybe of, you know, buses running in the city or, uh, or your, uh, you know, household electricity c consumption or whatever it is. All kinds of data available. How do you, you know, what are the tools, what are the mechanisms to analyze it? So if you want to be in a, you know, if you want to be in a position where you decide on these things, you should learn data analytics or fundamentals of data analytics very carefully, very deeply. This involves things like not very attractive things like uh, statistics or yeah. algorithms. A across all professions, all domains. If you want to analyze the similar things, but if you want, you know, if you are in the if you are in the photography business, now you should know how you know what is the new technologies coming in 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 photography, and today there are tools which generate text, generate images. How do you use these DALI or other uh, image generation tools? How do you prompt it? They call it prompt. It, they, don't, they don't just generate images. You give something, they give something built on it. So how can you control, you know, what you, how, to, how can you get what you want by controlling what you give it as input? Okay. 
Right. Now, this sounds like a very, uh, you know, it's also a creative process in some sense, even though the tool that generates from your prompt, what they call the prompt to the final output, what happens is not clearly known, not publicly announced. But there is, you discover that. So that's another way, that's if you are in the low level, if you are in the business of creating content. This could be the thing that you want, you want to do. Okay. Yeah. Deepu, I'll come back to you because I was told that there's a time for questions. But I, I would like to ask you as to what is there in Mulan for a photography or a filmmaker. But I'll leave it to the audience for any questions before I let Deepu answer it. Are there any questions up? Actually, AI is a very good thing. AI is enabled by robots to surgeries. Warfare use and Tesla Gen 2 robots and household shows and the bulls and speed walking and facilitated robots. And the question is AI is a threat because AI has self learning capacities and as to my limited knowledge, labeled and unlabeled readily. AI no argument sources are dependent upon warfare other area use the like our interactions are about itself for terrorist group marital group settle interactions or about the in the knowledge in the a pretty another humanity good threat tag more and uh, one more question is there uh, actually for some other news again did in no robot Low practice is and uh, our robot not developed the firm fine jay to carnum license in land low practice is. as a law student telling her budding lawyer uh, uh, law field delay in the possibilities in the can if I want to make a career out of it and in the can sir the end I would suggest you look at that uh, the second question first yes. uh, a lot of things in the law field is documentation yes right and a bot is the best person to do it yes. because it can do volumes of documentation and cross-reference, right? Uh, left alone, how do you argue in a court of law is a different issue. So a lot of those things kind of the back-end work of a law firm is anyway going to be automated. And, and that can first. help the lawyers of future rather than because uh, in, in law, it's all about past cases. But in, in, in medicine, it's all about, you know, how people have, what Not, record is there. Watson is already doing that. Yes. Right, sure. so, so, the first, your first question, there is a term that today people talk about called AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. In that AI, you know, it will do uh, recognize images very fast, recognize uh, uh, robot, robotic example, it's one narrow task it can do very, 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 very well. It will not make any mistake, it will not get, you know, it will not get tired. But say, in a, in, in a, in an environment, how to react, how to connect different things together, and what we call intelligence or what we call common sense. That is not there. And But there is a set of people who say it's only, you know, this chat GPT kind of thing, you train it more and more in five years, ten years, or two years, it will become AGI, will come, and then it will take over the world. Now it, it decides, you know, you tell a system, is an example, you tell a system you want to create a safe world, and the system thinks very hard and realizes correctly that humans are the dangerous. Humans are creating the world unsafe. And the system powerful said decided to kill all the humans. It is doing what is told to do very well. Such system can exist is a worry some people do, but I, personally I think they are very, very, very far away if at all such a thing can happen. But there is a lot of you know very powerful AI tools using which people who have evil mind can create a lot of havoc. Today, you were talking about fake videos, fake uh, voice, fake everything. That is one side. Similarly, how can people be fooled by with, you know, there is already financial fraud, transaction. These are, you know, people have been doing it. Now, these tools can provide them a lot of information. And, and, and they can, so AI in the hands of bad people can be very powerful. And AI also very low investment entity today. Atom bomb in Nakanangali, you have to create, a, you know, thousand crores uh, and specialized uh, equipment. AI today, it's available on your laptop or on uh, cloud. So this, the danger from that is high. So how, there is a whole new effort of regulating AI or creating what is called responsible AI. How can we ensure that AI development of the technologies behave responsibly? Now, even if the people, if we know people who are using any technology, 
You cannot count on them being responsible or being nice people. We are all human beings. We have seen it in every generation. So that is a danger, not AI taking over or replacing doctors. That will never happen. I'm not, I was not asking about taking over. Uh, Self-learning capacity. Suppose in a yeah, not enough, not the self-learning capacity is not enough to replace the original. No way, not even close. Dibu, you want to close it because there's just two minutes and so I'll, uh, with yeah. your new learn thing, you can just close it up. Yeah, uh, just to, uh, one more thing to answer, like a human, like it is, it is uh, A, what it do is like, it is imitating human, right, in, in, the, in the learning process, in doing things and a lot more. Human emotions or uh, like the human intelligence is powered by neurons as well as a lot of chemicals, right? But uh, artificial intelligence is powered by bytes or voltage, right? Zeros and ones. So it is, we do not need to be that much worried about a situation. There are, there are two types of people that uh, talks about AI, that is whether it need to be dangerous and all those things. Anything can be dangerous in a way like how we use it. Like if you are, whether your hand is dangerous or not, it can be if you use it for a wrong thing, right? Similarly, the people who use that decide how well it is and there will be better governance, better, better ethical practice and human will surely survive. All those things in the past we have survived and, and we are here and A also we will tame it and we will, we, will, we will use it for sure in future. So do not need to worry about it that much, okay. Then, uh, yeah, yeah, so, so finally he was asking about the question whether it is, it is not just about technology in Mueller. That is mewlearn.org. Anybody who want to learn anything for free, it is, it is free and open to anyone. If it is for photography or movie making, there is also an interest group. Create an interest group and come to Mewlearn. And there will be, uh, like for example, in the movie, there is a Dulka Foundation is the DQF. They support with workshops. But anything that you learn, you have to come up with a proof of work. First, you have to prove that you are worth for the mentor to spend time with us. So for movie making or for music or for AI, robotics, Anything that you want to learn, learn as a group, find your tribe and that is what you learn is. Thank you.